In this tutorial we'll be looking at how we can create a uh, two-toned metallic car paint uh, so you've got the little metallic flags and also um, the colour of the car will change dependent on the angle that you look at it so for example if you look at the uh, faces of the car straight on they'll be green uh, and as you move the camera as the angle changes then the colour will also change so you can see there we've got the the green on the facing faces and then it slowly uh, changes to a sort of a orange red and a purple colour uh, the narrower the angle gets okay so I'll start from a a blank car paint like that okay and what we'll do is initially delete that. Uh, well, the first thing to do, we'll make the metallic flex. So if we throw down a noise, so Shift A, S to search, and then noise texture. Uh, and to make things a bit easier, you'll I'd I'd recommend that you go into preferences, and then in the add-on section. Uh, type node in the top search bar and then enable the node wrangler add-on by uh, just putting a check in the checkbox there so once you've done that click on the noise texture and then press control and T and that will automatically create a mapping node and a texture coordinate node as well okay so if we plug this into a uh, so shift A S to search and then mix RGB make the top colour black and then make the bottom colour um, a full white and then plug the factor of the noise into the factor of the mix and then plug the mix into the base colour and then you'll see we're getting the noise on the car uh, so I would change this to object type for the mapping so the texture coordinates object output into the vector input on the mapping node uh, alternatively if you've got UVs on your car then you can plug the UV output into the vector and what you do then uh, is increase the scale so as that if you change that up as the noise will get smaller and smaller and change the detail to 1 and make sure distortion is on 0 and then to get a sort of a more defined um, flex of, of metallic paint then if you put a so shift A S ramp and then colour ramp and then connect that in between the noise texture and the mix and then if you slide the black slider to the right you'll see that the blacks becoming uh, the black area is becoming larger and then slide the white slider to the left and then you can see that those white flecks are getting much um, much stronger so just tweak these until you get a, a sort of a nice gap between the white and the black and the black is predominant um, predominantly the, the larger um, sort of coverage so keep sliding that until it's nice and defined edges on the noise so as I slide that to the left you can see it's growing out and it's becoming less defined and if I slide that to the right then you get a nice sort of dots so those dots are currently a bit too large so increase the scale until it looks correct uh, the value you use will, will probably differ from mine uh, depending on the car that you're using and the scale of it so maybe something like that probably a bit more in fact so type in 1500 in my case and then we get a nice sort of uh, small dots all over the car so we want those fle uh, flex to be metal and we want the paint to be um, non-metal so if we connect the colour ramp into the 
metallic input on the principal shader and then slide the roughness down and then zoom in and you can see now that those flecks are actually metallic Okay, so we've got the metallic uh, flecks on the car uh, so now what we want to do is change the colour depending on the angle that we're looking at the car so to do that we want to change this colour from a black to a shift A S ramp again so colour ramp press enter and then connect the colour of the colour ramp into the top input on the mix node the mix RGB node and we want to vary this depending on the angle so if we press shift A and then under input you've got something called a layer weight so click on that and then add that in um, and you can either use a Fresnel so that the uh, facing angle is black and then it, it gradually goes to white on the um, faces that aren't facing the camera or alternatively I think this is a better solution if you use the facing output on the layer weight and connect that to the factor of the colour ramp instead and then you can see it's a bit more sort of obvious the difference in colour so we'll change the colour by clicking anywhere near the left slider and then clicking in the colour area and then just increase that and choose maybe a green so now it's green to white and then click near the right hand slider and change that to another colour uh, any colour you want really um, that looks pretty good and you can see now the colour is changing as we rotate the car around so I just go into full screen okay uh, you probably want to add more than one colour though so there's a, a number of options the first option is to change RGB to uh, either HSV so that's hue, hue saturation and value or HSL hue saturation and level so I'll choose HSL okay and it's a bit a bit too oversaturated I think so just throw down a shift A S and then a SAT and then you've got a hue saturation node and put that in between the colour ramp output and the colour input on the mix shader and then we can tweak the colour further so we can turn the saturation down like that or we can turn it up like that I'll probably put it to 1 for now um, to make it more realistic what I would do is turn the value down to something like 0.2 or even 0.1 and the lower you go with the colour, the more obvious the metallic flecks are, because it's, it's darker uh, surrounding that. So you can change it from near to far, and that'll give you a different result. And if you maybe change it from uh, that to clockwise, and then whichever two colours you choose on the colour wheel, so that's green for example, so that is set to clockwise so it will go clockwise on the colour wheel between the two colours so you've got green and then you've with the second colour we've chosen is a purple sort of a, this sort of colour so it will go this way around so you'll get green it'll be the colour that's facing the camera and then it will slowly go round until it gets to the second colour like that uh, you can move the slider say you want the green to go further back you can move that left hand slider until you're happy with that and you can do the same for the right hand slider so you get the purple to come further forward like that and then maybe darken that a bit more perhaps maybe uh, 0 0.05 and again that makes it a bit more realistic uh, alternatively what you can do is instead of doing it automatically change that back to RGB um, and then move that slider back to the left, move that one to the right click on the first slider and then click the plus button and that will add a new slider in on the RGB node and then you can uh, 
choose whichever color you want to be sort of in between the two colors so I'll change this to a maybe a blue and then it's going to go from green to blue to purple so as I come around like that you'll notice this side is becoming purple or maybe a pink uh, and just here where it's making the transition and there it's more of a blue so it's going green blue and then a pinky purple colour there and you can add as many colours as you want uh, so maybe if I click on this left one again and click plus it puts another one in and I could change that to maybe uh, something like that a red and then it's going to go green so green there red which is there then a blue which is there and then the uh, the purple is just over there and as, again we can slide these across just to get it positioned on the car as we want it and um, what we can also do is change this from uh, the interpolation uh, from linear to ease and you can see now we're getting a bit of a uh, a bigger transition between the colors it just makes it a little bit smoother uh, or you can change it unrealistically to constant and then you'll get a very defined sort of edge between the different colors as you move the car around like that uh, I find though that the ease one is the uh, the best result for the car paints and that's it so uh, the car model by the way is free to download and it can be used commercially as well so that's available at uh, Sketchfab and it's by a user called Indians and it's, uh, it's a really nice model one thing I would say though for Blender uh, when you download the model there's two options you can choose FBX or you can choose GLTF I found that the FBX version didn't work with Blender the textures um, were named incorrectly so they didn't get assigned to the car uh, but the GLTF that did work so uh, that's the version I'd recommend you download the, you will need to do a little bit of tweaking with the uh, angle of the car when you bring it in um, but otherwise it's, it's a really nice model really good reflections and you know good topology um, yeah and that's it so hopefully that helps and uh, let me know what you think in the comments thanks very much